Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another show of The Ionic Show. My name is Ben. And I'm Max. And we have an awesome lineup of things to talk about today. We're going to switch things up a little bit and talk. We're going to dive into Creator today. But before we do that, we're going to talk about a cool new Ionic app called Swerk It, which is basically like a personal fitness app, helps you get in better shape. And then we're also going to talk about Ionic Box, which is a new thing we just released to help you get set up with everything you need to, to build hybrid apps quickly. Um, so let's talk about that in a second. Oh, we didn't have time to, to brew a homebrew this time. So we're drinking New Glarus Brewing Company's beer, Spotted Cow. It's delicious. It's from Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, and uh, It's only in Wisconsin. It's so. only in Wisconsin. So feel bad that yeah. you can't have any of it. Um, with that said, let's get the show started. All right, so first up is Swerk It. So Swerk It is an Ionic built app that kind of came out of nowhere, left field, some like to say. Uh, it took us by surprise, specifically me being a design minded, a design oriented mind. Uh, I think it has a great design. They, they basically, they took Ionic and they redesigned it to fit their brand. It's beautiful. Um, and prior to, I think they said, we, we got in touch with their developer. They were using jQuery mobile to build the app, switched to Ionic and saw a huge increase in retention. Their star rating went up. They have five out of five stars right now. And they actually just got featured in the iOS app store uh, as one of the best new uh, fitness apps. So basically what Swerkit does is it, um, it, it acts as though it's a personal trainer. It has tutorials on how to do different exercises that all only require like your body weight. Um, so it does like heavy lifting or you can do more like stretches and yoga and stuff like that. Um, but we were really blown away by the app. I don't know. I, I've, I've been using it a little bit. I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So like they're doing some things that a lot of people ask about like inline videos and things like that. Mm. So definitely check it out. They're pushing the limits of what Ionic can do. Uh, I show it to people, and I'm like, you know, can you tell that this is that this is a hybrid app, and, and no one could. Like, it's a great app. Um, we're really excited about it. Great developer, millions of installs, very popular app. Uh, we're definitely proud to have them using Ionic. Yeah, congrats to the team too for getting featured. It's a uh, it's not an easy feat. Um, so yeah, check out Swerk It. It's in the App Store. It's also in the Android Play Store too. Yeah, so it's Swerk It, swerkit.com. I'm not sure if we were even pronouncing it right. Maybe it's called S Work It. Yeah, it might be. I call it Swerk It. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Um, no, we, it's it's Work It because it's circuit training. Oh, there okay. you go. All right, we got it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like that. <laughs> Play on words. I like how we just figured that out just yeah, now. Just now. Okay. <laughs> All right, Swerk It. Um, so let's talk about Ionic Box. So <clears throat> Ionic Box is basically our attempt to make it easier to install everything you need to build apps on your computer. Uh, it's really initially targeted at uh, Windows developers because if you've ever installed anything on Windows, like it's let's be honest, it's, yeah, it's, it's awful, uh, especially Android development. And like this is almost nothing to do with Ionic. Uh, getting Android SDK installed, getting Java installed, getting Ant, setting up all your environment variables, and then installing Node.js and then PhoneGap, or not PhoneGap, but uh, Cordova and Ionic, <clears throat> is like, it's just so much work. So what we've done with Ionic Box is used a popular development environment setup system called Vagrant. And basically it's just a reusable virtual machine uh, that sets up a development environment that runs Linux, but is pretty seamless with your with your Windows computer. Uh, so you can kind of do a little SSH into this virtual machine to build your app, but you can edit all the code from your Windows computer. Uh, so it creates a really seamless uh, setup for you to build apps for Android. So unfortunately, due to Apple's licensing restrictions, we can't do the same with, with OS X. We would love to. So what we're doing instead there is we've got a, a, a beta build service, which I think we talked about before. It's still like, it's still in testing, but that will let you farm off an iOS build on our servers uh, that you'll that you'll get back later, and that's a way to get around that. But we we're still testing that; it's not quite ready for public use. Um, but the point is that we're working really hard to make it easy to just get a development environment set up and yeah. start building apps with Ionic. Yes. Yeah. So check out uh, <clears throat> check out Ionic Box. It's on our GitHub 
uh, site. It's just github.com slash driftyco slash ionic dash box. Yeah, people seem to like it so far, which is awesome. So Cool. Well, now that we have that out of the way, I feel like we just need to get to what we, we need to talk about, which is creator. Yeah, it's the elephant in the room. It is. So last time we talked about, we, we announced that we would be building it and that you know, we were going to get it out soon. We, we still plan on getting it out soon. Um, unfortunately, Ionitron has been giving some early uh, predictions on when it was coming out. I mean, he's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, Ionitron, is a, he's, he's a little overly optimistic. He doesn't understand that like humans have you know, real-world uh, problems. Um, he's a robot. Still uh, working on empathy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so when Ionitron said he would be ready in 14 days, like... He was kind of right, but like not quite ready to send out mass invites. Exactly. Um, so don't blame us. Yeah, blame my like, The point is that, exactly. So well, let's talk about it, because we're getting really, really close. It's, it's so close. So we're just putting some finishing touches on. It's like when you're building something like that that has like a user sign-up process, you, you, tend to, you tend to avoid the fact that you're going to have to deal with like user sign-ups, setting, like changing your profile, uh, signing up, logging in. All these things actually take up a lot of time. And so... We didn't realize that until it was like, oh, we're, we're so close, and oh, like we finally need to like let you log in and actually like save your data. Uh, so that's what we've been working on, and it's pretty much that's pretty much ready to go. We have we have a few beta testers using it, and it's 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 sweet. It's getting close. Let's talk about high level goals on day one when the beta invites do go out. Yeah. So we just want to set people's expectations about what Creator does because there's been a little bit of confusion. Um, the point of Creator is not to be a replacement for coding. We've said this before and we really, really mean it. So you're not going to go in there and build an app, start to finish, wire it up with a backend service, and then get an, a, a total, totally ready-to-go project uh, if, you're, if your app needs logic. You might be able to do that if you're just doing something simple, like a content thing, but that's not our goal. We want to make it easy to build the UI so you can export it and get coding a lot faster. Uh, so, so, so Creator is really a prototyping tool for the UI. Mm -hmm. It's more like the storyboarding tool in iOS than it is something like, you know, a full-fledged IDE. That's not our goal. We don't think that's like a good thing to, to go after because it's just, it's so impossible to replace coding through visual tools. Well, and we, we have some cloud here. I mean, we've, we've built these type of tools, built these type of tools before, and we've seen the way that people use them. And, and truly the best way to use them is, is to, and the way to get the most out of them is to treat them like a prototyping tool, a way to focus on the UX, a way to focus on building what the end user is going to experience and making sure that's drilled down perfectly before you then take that and then tweak it and add all of your you know, brand-specific designs and, and customizations and things like that. Um, so it's definitely, it's definitely important to point out that like, this tool is not meant for that. It's meant for like, getting that user experience down. So you're going to be able to do stuff like you know, drag in all of the components that we offer in Ionic currently, like buttons and header bars and tabs and, and even some, some more fun stuff like maps. Um, but, but once you have that stuff in it, then you can start linking uh, buttons to different pages and, and adding different content on those different pages and drilling down that user experience so that it's perfect and it's exactly the way you want it. And you don't know so much need to think about the coding because that stuff sometimes is... is not as important in the beginning. It's just focusing on that experience. Um, but then you're going to be able to do fun stuff like previewing it, uh, almost like we have a built emulator, built-up emulator in the actual tool. Um, and and like I said before, linking pages, which is really really awesome. And that's the kind of stuff that I think we're going to focus on getting out on day one that mm -hmm. you'll be able to do, and it's really really rewarding and fun. Yeah. Um, so on the on the topic of like templates, what we've done is we tried to make it make it really easy to create pages based on like a specific functionality. Like, so we have a login template, we have a sign up template, we have a maps page, we have tabs, we have a slide box. So basically common pages that we see people building in Ionic, uh, we're trying to make it really easy to kind of start a page with that and then let you change the content. So a good analog is, uh, is uh, the key, uh, <clears throat> keynote. keynote. Yeah, like so basically a slide show editor uh, that you can create templated slides from and then change the content yourself. That's exactly what we were going for. And I think it, uh, I think people will love how fast it gets you up and running. Uh, the tool is really, really fast. It's really simple. Uh, I think you'll jump right in and get it. 
uh, and then be able to, to, to build a beautiful looking UI in a fraction of the time. What I really like is just how fun it is. It's, it's, it's enjoyable to drag in components and just see them update live on your screen. I feel bad. I'm, I'm playing with it here. I, we're we're going to get it out soon. So. Yeah. Um, we, got our, we got beta invites before anyone else. That's right. Uh, so high-level goals. Like what, where do we plan on taking this tool? Yeah. So when we release this beta, like it's going to be the like bare bones, uh, drag and drop, get a prototype, start a new project. Uh, that, that's, that's pretty much it. But we, we have a lot of other things that we want to do with this over time. Uh, number one is we want to make it easy to uh, theme your app from the tool. So we built the Ionic theme to be customizable. Like we, I, we never like wanted people to just take the base colors and, and build the apps just like that. We wanted you to take your brand, you know, change the header bar color to match your brand, add your logo, things like that. So uh, we are going to have those features in Creator. They're going to be really easy to use. You can change the base font, like use a cool web font. Um, you can change all the base colors really easy. Um, that's one thing that we're going to have. Uh, we're also going to have the ability to... Live preview on your phone. Yep. Yeah. So those of you who know about the Ionic View app that we've been testing kind of privately, uh, that's going to make it really easy to uh, automatically pull up your phone uh, with the View app and test a creator prototype right from your phone. Which is really, really fun to do. Yeah, it works really, really well. And the cool thing is you can share it with anyone else uh, that you want. So you can have a client come and you know, test your UX. Like imagine this workflow. You're building the, this like user experience. You haven't written any code yet because you don't have to. You can just say, imagine there's some data here. Like I filled this with like filler data. Uh, they test it on their phone like, oh, this is sweet. Like I like the flow. And then you start to fill out the back end. Uh, pretty simple, like a great, great way to build an app. Uh, I think it's going to be super easy for people to get into it. You're going to love it. Yeah. I love it. So further down the road, um, we want to make it easier to integrate with all the back end stuff out there. Uh, that is something that we want to make easier. We don't want to have like a tool that replaces coding, but we want to make it easy to test data from a back end service um, and do it well. Do it in a way that's, that, that, that works for everyone. Because everyone's using all the, like a, a diff, like a different set of backend services, so it's kind of hard to build like one solution for all of them. Um, but we have some ideas, and we're working on that. Uh, no ETA on any of that, but that's kind of where we see Creator going. I like it. So, a lot of great stuff in the pipeline. More components, more page templates, components that you can create and release to the community. Templates that you can create as well. Themes. These are things that we definitely want to have. Uh, so we hope that you love the first version. We'll be we'll be iterating on it quickly. So what you see when we release will not be what's there a month later. Um, so that's the goal of what we're trying to do. It's going to be beta. Uh, so we we hope you'll submit issues and, and suggestions give us feedback. and give yeah. us feedback. So awesome. Well, that wraps it up for this time. Yeah, I think that just about does it. All right. So next time, hopefully, when we meet, we will have already sent out most of the beta invites, and uh, we can go from there and hopefully have some new stuff to talk about. Yeah, we have a million things uh, planned and, and we can't quite talk about them yet, but they are gonna be amazing. Mind blowing. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Or, or next month. Next month, next month. See next you guys month. next month. We, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Bye.